Hello, and welcome back to DCN Club. Recently, we have been talking about some devices on the network. Today, we are going to introduce a special purpose device, the load balancer. As the name suggests, the load balancer is used for load balancing. It provides a value-added service on the network and is generated against the following backdrop. As traffic and services on the network increase in scale, some network devices cannot bear the traffic. In this case, if a hardware upgrade is performed by replacing the existing devices on the network, the existing resources are wasted. As the service volume may increase from time to time, endless hardware upgrades will incur high costs, and even devices with excellent performance cannot meet the service volume requirements in the future. Load balancing is established based on the existing network structure. It extends the bandwidth, throughput and data processing capability of the network devices and servers in a low cost effective and transparent manner and improves the network flexibility and usability. Load balancing is implemented in two aspects. First, a large amount of concurrent access or data traffic is load balanced onto multiple nodes, shortening the response waiting time. Second, heavy-duty computation is performed on multiple nodes for parallel processing. After each node finishes processing, the results are summarized and returned to the user, which greatly improves the system processing capability. In our solution, the load balancer provides a unified virtual IP address for external access to a service group. When a new task reaches the VIP address, the load balancer selects a server with light load using load evaluation algorithms to process this task. In this way, the service throughput, average response speed, and system resource usage of the server group can be kept at an optimal level. In addition, the load balancer checks the running status of each server in the server group according to health status standards. When a server is faulty, the load balancer allocates new tasks to the other servers that are running properly. That's all for today's introduction. Thanks for watching and see you next time.